we are going to look at the Enhanced Infantryman of the Future system. A soldier is equipped with the latest technology, a system that consists of three connected core elements. Clothing and protective equipment. Soldiers have to operate in all the world's various climate zones. Weapons, optics and optronics form the second core element. The third element is the electronic back, consisting of batteries, the CPU system, which is the processor, and a radio. We will show the system in detail with the help of a sample mission. The aim is reconnaissance. The clothing concept of the infantryman of the future system is modular. The combination of underwear, outerwear, combat suit, protective and carrying equipment is optimized and coordinated. Before entering the area of operations during this exercise, the soldier chooses appropriate clothing. This box contains his personalized equipment. The underwear is the first layer of clothing and is worn straight on the skin. Soldiers can choose between short, long, thermal and flame retardant. The long thermal underwear contains 80% very fine merino wool. The fine fabric is mostly scratch free and warms the body even when it is wet. This is an important advantage for soldiers who can't change clothes during their rest periods, but must also make sure to avoid undercooling. The nearly seamless antibacterial and breathable material increases the soldier's endurance in almost all climate zones. The combat shirt can be worn instead of the combat jacket in higher temperatures and replaces the long thermal underwear. The anti-exposure suit is worn under the final layer, the combat suit. The insulation suit is only worn in extreme cold and if the soldier can hardly move, such as in a concealed position deep in the snow. The final layer consists of the combat suit and the moisture protection over it. The combat suit is flame-proof and designed to repel insects. Based on the mission, the soldier adapts his equipment to his individual requirements. The soldier is fully dressed for a reconnaissance mission in an urban area. The back of his protective vest is mounted with a special feature, a very sturdy computer. Each component is designed to function under extreme conditions, such as climates ranging from minus 32 up to plus 50 degrees Celsius. All system components, including weapons, displays and controls, are connected to the computer. As soon as the soldier connects via cable to the APC Boxer, he has access to the powerful Boxer communication system. GPS and position data are supplied by the guidance system. In a world of rapidly shifting geopolitical developments and alliances, demands on Bundeswehr soldiers are complex. In order to adapt to the evolving duties of the Bundeswehr, the Infantryman of the Future project develops and enhances the infantry's combat equipment. Weapons have also been adapted to the system, including the G36 assault rifle. The adjustable shoulder mount makes life easier for soldiers. The handguard contains a Bluetooth sender and batteries. The standard scope is a 4x30. Any gun can be modified in this way, including the MG4A2 Infantryman of the Future machine gun. Another version of the G36 is equipped with a grenade launcher caliber 40 by 46 millimeters. The weapons are permanently connected to the CPU system via Bluetooth. Tree at two o'clock, move into position there. This allows soldiers to radio their comrades by simply pressing a button on their gun. All weapons that are part of this system have this function built in. The system is constantly enhanced based on the processing of data and experiences from previous missions like ISAF in Afghanistan. The reconnaissance equipment includes a monocular telescope that allows soldiers to measure the distance to any given object within a range of 5 meters to 4 kilometers with the help of a laser. The soldier then transmits the data to headquarters by simply pushing a button. Angle and compass data are recorded at the same time. Soldiers can install a display on their helmet system that supplies them with visual information. 
This allows soldiers to keep an eye on marching direction and target at all times. As soon as a soldier sees his colleagues, a symbol appears above them to mark them clearly as friendly troops, even in confusing situations. Soldiers can use the amplifying goggles, Lucy 2D, instead of the helmet system. They show the same information that is supplied to the helmet display by the computer. The advantage of the telescope goggles is their night vision functionality. The infantrymen of the future weapons can be individually adapted to each mission. Soldiers can choose from many different scopes or even combine them. Within seconds, the NSV-600 attachment can be installed in front of the scope. It is an image-enhancing night vision adapter that allows soldiers to watch and target subjects at night or at dusk without a light source. The soldier can easily replace his module with the thermal imaging attachment. Unlike night vision, thermal imaging can be used during the day as well. Thermal imaging responds to the warmth radiated by subjects and displays temperatures in different colors. The signal can be transmitted to a video interface on a monitor. In bad visibility, for example in rain or fog, soldiers can use the Dragon Compact Thermal Scope. Vehicles can be identified from 250 meters, human targets from 100 meters. The Fire Control Unit 40mm LV allows soldiers to hit their target with grenades. The unit stores ballistic properties of more than 50 different types of ammunition. In addition to this, the team leader has a portable controller computer that offers enhanced functionality compared to the basic computer. Alpha-1 Boxer, this is Alpha-1. Move to marked position. Slow speed. Go. The team leader can transmit the drawing showing directions to the Boxer within moments. The job is done. The soldiers have completed their reconnaissance mission. This was a first look at the new infantry equipment. It is constantly modified and enhanced to improve both performance and protection for infantrymen in every possible way. Thank <laughs> you.